Thank you for your patience, everyone. So yeah, back to what I was thinking. Was, uh... So let's open this. I mean, this layout is fine. Do what? Are you talking about stations, however? Let's be honest. It's as a pure science boat. It's kind of lacking. As a as a Cytorp, eh? Actually, no. It's a shitty Cytorp. It's a very sh bad Cytorp. But let's not let's not look at Cydu or Dusai on this because. Yeah, it's not going to do any of that very well at all. Temporal side. I mean, it can pull it off, but there's there are ships that can do it better. Pure side. I guess. I guess it can do pure side decently. In fact, I might try that after this. So let's drop the temple stuff and just do a pure a pure side and go back up to a gravel three and have uh, some like we'll basically have the same amount of anomalies I think no it'll be it'll be three anomalies instead of four All right, technically we could have five anomalies here if we drop the DRP. Let's have subspace vortex as a one. Subspace vortex one anywhere. I do not. Interesting. Let's go do that Herald Sphere. That one was probably one where Gravwell 3 is about. So Oberth definitely of the two ships in the pack, the Oberth is not as good as the Clark Malakowski. Malakowski is def definitely a better ship. Hands down. Hey Cash, how you doing? Hey, it's like, what? It's only been a couple hours since I last talked to you. <laughs> the last stream. I'm yeah, just messing around with this little boat here. You know what this ship actually feels like? The, uh, the way it's set up. It feels like an event ship. You know, all the event ships are usually fairly decent on average, apart from like a couple of really good stand-up. Most of them are kind of meh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a decent free, freebie ship or a decent ship for a freebie. This is what this ship, ship feels like. It feels like it's one of those event ship. Kind of awkward bridge officer layout. That's something not my style, not what I would want in a bridge officer layout. Very nice. I guess we're not going to be seeing you for a while. Especially surviving Mars. <laughs> well, Stellaris as well. That's another game that you can lose hours and days of your life to. No, not possible. It's it's certain. I just noticed something. There, there, there is this little bit of jerkiness to the ship. So, uh, if you guys ever watch demo record videos, stuff that say uh, some of the times I do or that Seth does or what, 
you'll notice when a ship is flying through space or even inside like a, a map or something it'll be a little bit jittery when flying Should remember what happened with Evil Genius too. Yeah, I, you, we, we lost you for a while, didn't we? So it's a bit more noticeable with this ship because you can kind of zoom in on it. But it's, it gets more pronounced when you're doing a demo record. And it, it really can't get rid of it unless you can drop down to like stupid resolutions like 720 or 360 or something. Which, come on, who wants to watch a video like that? I think I will, after this this particular run, I'll go and drop the uh, the temporal abilities, and we'll switch back. I'll drop the uh, the trade from it as well. Cat boy, you like you like the cat boy. The Gateway Network. The Someone's got their vomp in here. Scimitar, and this, this ship is frigate sized. I could very well see it pop out of someone's hangar bay. Herald forces inbound! Looking in the void. Stop the Herald Force Gateway opening at three o'clock. Gateway opening at twelve o'clock. Gateway opening at four o'clock.
too many white flashing things there. Gateway opening at seven o'clock. Yeah, let's let me finish this. Zoom out. Although this, all those anomalies going off with the uh, spore infused and the uh, electrified. Seems to be doing some decent amount of damage.
damage output seems to be fairly high. So. Let me just cool it off a little bit. Let's see how fast these guys die when I'm not shooting at them. Energy levels in the spear are rising. Check it out. Storing on a crazy amount of damage. some messages here. I'm sorry guys. Discord at the moment. Feel free to pop in. So, do we have enough people around to do a ISE room? Derp, D derp. Sorry, D. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Just wondering. Just had to mute the stream. Okay. Are you going to miss out on all the great heavy metal and rock music? Yeah, but then I'd be forced to listen in to my own voice. What, what, uh, what are your thoughts on this show? You haven't had much ta chance to play on it yet, but. I find it okay. I'm still trying to settle on a build for the tune that will be permanently using it. Oh, yeah, okay is how I would describe it. Not, not, not great. And yeah, its build options are kind of limited. Yeah, but it's essentially its seating is identical to the Eternals, minus the uh, temporal seating on the Lieutenant tactical seat. Yeah, 
Eternal also has an anger bill, right? And there's also a yeah. MME. MMV. Well, if you break it down just to bridge officers alone, it's essentially the same. Okay. I, I didn't like the eternal setup either. It's just I just find it like difficult to to do a like a site a proper site tour on this thing. You can't well you can probably fit single cannons on it, but you can't fit dual cannons or anything like that. Uh, I well, there's one dual cannon you can mount. Turrets and single cannons. Phase cannons. And the phase cannons. Uh, those are singles, aren't they? Nope, they're dual. Yeah, but. Phase cash. You can they're put phase a dual phaser. They're a dual phaser cannon that isn't a dual phaser cannon. Interesting. Right, I will be right back because my feet's nearly here. Right, is right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, that was a yawn. I'd usually be taking a nap at this point. <laughs> Doing the stream in the morning and then, you know, yeah, napping into a stream at night, but during the afternoon stream right now. And I'm not, I'm not blown away by this ship. I'm not overwhelmed. But I would love to see a parse for it in an ISC. Yes. So I would definitely love to set that up. I'm not sure if there's anyone around though. I know you, you two are, but let's see. Not that many men now. Also, not a solvent. I don't have any salt. We didn't get a point though, which I can put on good severity ground. Yeah. Hmm. Have you tried? Have you played with this ship yet, Cash? Which one? The the, over to the Clark. Well, I know you played with the Cleric. I was there the other day, but the uh, the old Earth. Oh, yeah. I've played around with it. What are your thoughts on it? It's a little squishy, but I kind of like it. A little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> to adapters with the uh, DOF just to give it a little bit uh, a little bit more um, well a little bit less squishiness more unsquishiness and a bit more maneuverability you want me to show you what I did with mine in uh, Discord sure See if I can remember how to do this again. And there it is. But what did, you, what did you get, Price? Okay, can I show this on stream? Let's 
seem to have lost you. Yeah, you can do that. No problem. Close that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hold on. I'm just trying to get this thing to pop. Okay. Yeah, it's very, it's very potato. Okay, so basically phaser wide angle, 30 second century refit, dual phaser beam, dark matter, three piece revolutionary, competitive engine. Uh, deteriorating uh, refits on the back wide angle on the back just the usual clickables uh, of course the lower cater tyco kinetic two piece on the uh, DPRM and the shielding bow neural uh, interphasic rift lance genesis seed Protomatic console and two locators. Um, basically, beam overload with uh, secondary control aspect. Um, traits. Basically, inspirational leader, good day to die, unconventional systems, fragment of AI, uh, superior projectile, beam barrage, superior beam training, uh, adaptive offense, turn. Targeting and fleet, and super weapon ingenuity. Terran goodbye. Buy the book for the anomaly extension. Terran machinations, which I think I need to remove that because I took off the attack pattern. Yep. Um, so I got to swap that one. Uh, universal design, and then the grab well. The standard three there. Uh, for crit severity, chance, and Tavish duality off a hull. And control countermeasures and capacitor, chrono capacitor for the reductions. And the usual space rep. Um, duty officers. Uh, bridge officers. Um, yeah, by the way, it looks like half your screen is, uh, is, uh, Excellent. it's blurry. Yeah. Looks like half your screen is on the uh, witness protection program. What? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit blurry on my... I don't know why, but... Okay. It's Discord. It's... Let me see if I can reopen this. It's just basically the DOFs of the grab well extension, crit on energy, crit on project, chance on projectile, severity on energy, shield penetration for the beam overload, uh, 27 to 47 for the extra attack ability to improve the crit severity, and evasive maneuvers, uh, recharge whenever emergency power to engines is activated. What are your bridge officers? Running uh, one of the SROs and the uh, the vanguards, and then Julian uh, Bashir. It's basically a photonic officer also to help with the cooldowns. Running that with in conjunction with the chrono capacitor to help for reduction on cooldowns, and then just some of the basic abilities. That's something. You're running it as a beam overload. Yeah, as a beam overload with, like I said, secondary control aspects. Uh, yeah, I forgot to go over the stats. Well, I didn't go over the stats because uh, the control on this uh, is 168. I mean, it's not immaculate, but with the uh, the one trait uh, fragment of AI that helps boost the energy damage. 
and the control uh, expertise. Oh, I need to swap that trait while I'm thinking of it. Found it. Hmm. It's just something I came up with and threw together and figured yeah. it might be fun to play with. So that looks like a fairly decent bit. So you can you can pull off a little bit of pseudo juicy with yeah. a beam overload build on this. Yep. It's still fairly limited because you realistically you want like a lieutenant commander tactical to do either like the Torque Spread 3 or like the Beam Overload 3. Yeah, but with this one, since the slots aren't high enough, you can't get three out of it, so. Fortunately, yeah. Yeah, so I figured the next best would be go with two and then the, the regular high yield and then put Chemocide on it. So three tactical slots, basically. Yeah, I would love to do an LC. I don't think there's enough people on stream watching at the moment to pull that off. So. Let's see if I can uh, do some other stuff then. Uh, maybe an Azure Nebula, that will give me a good idea. Uh, you want to come along for those? Yeah, give me one sec. Sorry, you want to come along? Out. I'm still eating. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Actually, let me invite you to tea. That might be better. Do it like a, a random. Let me see. Can you Fairy, change huh? Some... The feel. I'll, I'll, I'll change the name at some point. <laughs> so you have you have by the book on improved grab well. Yeah, by the book, improved grab well and um, universal design. So that way, when I fire off the uh, uh, the, MN, uh, the phaser lance, then I get the buff on the uh, the two percent so, crit chance and severity buff that stacks up to five times. What I found out is that the uh, improved gravel and by the book don't work together. They don't. So the uh, if you have improved gravel. It'll double the duration of Gravwell, and by the book, does not affect it any longer. Oh yeah, that's it's, right. It's maxed out already. I wonder if I went to the uh, the other one, the Temporal Gravwell. You know which one I'm talking about? Timeline collapse. Temporal anchor. Because I am running the Doth. So I get the secondary spawns. I think I should swap it to temporal anchor. Temporal anchor. Is that a temporal ability? No, it's uh, it's just your gravity wells are visually distinct. That deals bonus dam uh, deals bonus radiation damage and disables foes' abilities. Yeah, but it's, it's still not effective. exactly bonus. affected by improved gravity well though right I'm sorry you cut out what was that it's still affected by improved gravity well well that's what I'm saying if I drop improved gravity well and swap that for temporal anchor and keep by the book That could work, yeah. Electrified anomalies would be better than uh, temporal anchor. Mm, not with only three abilities, science abilities, though. Temporal anchor is subpar because its radiation calculation is based on the Gravwell's base damage, which is very small. Hmm. Yeah, 
I'll swap it and try it. We'll see. We're gonna get spore infused. That's what I have fitted in there. It should be fine with like three things. I have four running right now. I suppose I could change it to five, but I'll have to drop something else. All right, we'll try that with uh, Spore Infused. See how that works. Okay, uh, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, I click it. Uh, uh, atmosphere Assault, that's why I can't click it. I'm a dummy. There we go. I has to. <laughs> Skin do you have on there? It's pretty bright. One in the section 31 vanity. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, the bow puts the forward portions of the nacelles to blue as well. And I kind of like the, the red there, so. I'll go with my favorite, the Emperor. It's the end. Uh, should be able okay. to get some good salvage with this run as well. The Beelzebub, okay, interesting. There you go, that's what the bell looks like. Yeah, when the uh, treble uh, allows us to actually look at the summer vessel, summer cruiser, uh, I'm going to have a do that so I can actually look at the trait. That's actually a pretty interesting trait because you're going to be uh, slowing down anyways to be pop pop popping off your sensibilities, right? Most yeah. of the time, that's what I do Tw anyway. Zero or tw uh, to twenty-five percent is the requirement. So, which spec are you going with? Sorry, are you running the uh, the support configuration? Or are you going with the uh, offensive or defensive? Defensive on the support. Really? Oh, okay, because I was running support. Uh, for the extra exotic and the control. I'm not actually running that. I'm running uh, yeah. controlled countermeasures and enhanced sensors. Uh -huh. Defensive would actually be kind of decent. You know, this uh, offensive is really, really for weapons more than anything else. Yeah. When you get the maneuverability and the, the flight speed so you can get in position easier. Okay, that thing did pop, didn't it? I saw it. I did. If not, okay. Uh, nope, I did not. Check your private team segment. Let's pop now. I see the flashy. Yeah, left channel. Join channel. Current match is disbanded. There it goes. Nice sync warp out. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I finished the inside of as well. The Solians have captured a the Solians have captured a number of Romulan the stronger ships are better to oh, there's the rest, there you are. But they are also There's three of us in here. 
Well, that's very interesting. Our time here is limited. Stay focused, plan your attacks, and save as many ships as possible. Every loss is critical for my people. That does shit tons of damage. Don't really even get a chance to pop off my. Uh... Universal Pass. <laughs> we bouncing around and we're staying put at it. But each spawn point. Uh, probably staying put. I just moved to this one because there was no one here. Okay. Hugs might be well, around. There's three of you there. Now there is. Tell the pugs to stay put. Yeah, I know. Right. Ship is so tiny. The Tholians are using their energy webs to trap your ships. Target and fire at the nodes connecting the webs. If you are caught inside the web, try to destroy one side of it and escape before it collapses in on you. You guys heard that, right? The uh, billions are using webs against you? Yeah. What webs? I obliterate them before they spawn it. Man, your ass is getting his ass kicked by the two. As such, with his name, since he, all, since Duras always got his ass handed to him. That's true. <laughs> Benefit you get from Electrified is stacking. He's getting his ass kicked again. <laughs> yeah, he's about to go pop. Burst to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like cat's meowing at the door. Well, I left him to uh, do the interacts on his own. Yeah, he'll be alright. Maybe. <laughs> uh, server not responding. Oh shit.
Yep, you just got bounced. Okay, so they left that too. Yeah, the idiot came and followed me. And that's even after I uh, despawned from being kicked off the server. Like you had a one pop up there and they're struggling with it. He's only caring about killing stuff. Do or else. Oh, He's not doing any of the mission rewards. Requirements. Even after I wiped out the enemies for him. The same, he came over here and there's nothing for him to do. He's heading towards you, Cash. I hate to tell him there ain't nothing here. And I took care of it. <laughs> Maybe he should head to the center and deal with the stuff there. Mm, there's this uh, a legendary Excelsior there. <laughs> Well, he went to the one I was at before I despawned. Yeah, it looks like he's decided to stay in the middle now. I mean, I'm not too keen on that new trait from the ship, the, uh, the two second extension by per anomaly. Uh, or temporal power. Or temporal power. Warbird is escaping. Clearly, the only builds I see is pure temporal science builds. Can see a use out of it. Yeah. I'll we'll have to switch to a pure science anomaly build to drop the two temporals. A Delon Warbird is escaping. Doesn't seem yeah. to be. The only problem is to get the best benefit, you have to go for all the 30 second cooldown powers because the minimal for them should all be 15. That way you get the maximum uh, amount of spawnage edge as possible. And the only uh, ability with a shorter recharge rate is um eutrophic redistribution which appears to have an approximately a 10 11 second 
minimal cooldown. So it really is uh, primarily for the burn or something like that. That would really benefit from it. I guess the um, the eternal. The eternal can. Yeah, the eternal can do it as well. Because depending on how you set up the engineering seats, with uh, I think it's for a one of. Of uh, I know not for anyone, 36 of they can um, add extra cooldown options for the engineer for uh, to reduce the temporal powers down. So I'm currently using 36, 41. And 46 on this build just to uh, get the temple which temp the temple seats down as low as possible the e-dog might be able to pull up also Wait, does the e-dog have two temporal seats or is it just one for which one the e-dog look the sphere builder signs um, it's Temporal um, Intel. Temporal Intel, okay. So which... I, don't remember, I, don't, I don't see how in the hell y'all remember which ships have what seats. I cannot remember that ship. <laughs> um, my Runyman uh, KDF to Dolina is currently in it. Yeah, hell, even if I'm in it, I can't tell you unless I go and look at it. <laughs> well. Each of my teams has their own science ship, or science dreadnought, or destroyer, or multi-mission. Okay. Um, this ship, I don't know, man. I, mean, I didn't have any problems with that run. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's doing a lot of damage. I can I can tell that it is, but I'm still kind of mm, on the on the fence with it. Yeah. I, can, I, mean, I will got, say it's, it's got potential to put out a lot of damage, especially if you run it with a uh, with a group, you know, like we run, you know, with a dedicated tank, etc., etc. So that way you've got the protection of the tank. I would have liked the um, engineer seat being temporal, but oh well. The second engineering seat? Oh. The lieutenant commander. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're talking about. So this build here, actually, what I would love to have is actually a dedicated controller with a Gravwall 3, with a, like a super Gravwall 3. And then I drop, yeah. drop my Gravwall 1, replace it with a Tykins. And just, you know, let them group everything up and then just delete them with my uh, abilities here. Because it seems to be fairly high DPS. I'd have to, of course, reconfigure this, drop some of the Control X, swap it to EPG. And that would work really well. But barring that, I think I would. We'll probably switch it over to a high-end controller. Gravwell 3. 
and then like it's like a high-end DRB on their DRB uh, two somewhere. And then do something else. Yeah, probably. It's a, it's a tough one, but I think I'll leave it as is on the build right now until I can get some good parses on it. Uh, we'll see if there's anyone later on tonight doing any runs. We'll, we'll yeah, I'm sure Augie will be on sooner or later and we can, you know, get a group together and do a couple of test runs. Yeah. No issue. So I think I'm going to call this particular stream for now. Uh, bear with me, guys. I'm going to end the stream. I'll be right back with you guys. Uh, yep. Yep. So this has been the Grissom, or the Oberth Light Science Vessel Tier 6 X. Uh, it seems to be a fairly decent ship. I mean, its options are limited because of the way its bridge officer layout but it's not extremely limited it's not a great science ship but it is an okay science ship from what i can see uh depending on how you lay it out there are uh, other vessels out there that will outperform it in certain roles like if you're doing the temp side uh, there are better better vessels for that if you're doing uh, torp side or side torp there are better vessels for that if you want to do Jusai, there's definitely better vessels for that. If you're going pure science, this should hold its head. Uh, it should be on par with the other pure Sai. Although, there might actually be vessels out there that can do better. <laughs> so, all in all, I think it's, uh, we can say it's a fairly okay between mediocre and good it's not it's not it's not bad it's definitely not a bad ship and for the fact that you can get it on the ex on the not the exchange but on the sea store for the 3k zen that is definitely a good thing there are definitely a lot of ships out there that are just way overpriced promotional ships lockbox ships low, low buy ship ships off the exchange that cost way more than they should so in that regards you can probably say this ship is probably worth it for the cost and it's fairly easy to get so if you are basically looking for a if you're like starting out in STO and you want like a to actually be able to purchase a ship this one would probably be a very good one actually now that i think about it if you are starting out and you want to buy a tier six ship that will level with you this will actually be a fairly good ship although it's low hull modifier means it is a bit squishy actually more than a bit squishy it is very very squishy so you're gonna have to be mindful of that it pro will probably excel in roles where it has team support or if you have at least one or two people with you, if not a full team, then you could probably show its full potential in that regards where you don't have to worry about uh, exploding the minute someone looks at you because, well, the the meaning of this ship is that it's made out of explodium. The times, the one time we saw it in the movie, it, uh, it exploded spectacularly. <laughs> you no, know, they gave it a warning shot and it died. It died from the warning shot, if I remember correctly. Um, they were like, what? Did that, didn't I tell you to give it a warning shot? I, I did give it, I missed, it died anyway. So, but, you know. Uh, so, yeah, they, I guess they kind of incorporated that into the ship with its low hull modifier. Uh, you can mitigate that somewhat with higher resistances and stuff, maybe like ox to dampeners. Uh, there are uh, like a, a, the, the specific trait uh, auxiliary support defensive that could help out significantly also. Did I get enough? Did I get enough salvage there? No, I did not. I'm gonna have to do more salvaging. 
at the moment. It's going to be up to you guys. Uh, how good is it going to perform? How much DPS will it do? How much? Uh, how much? Uh, how far you can take it? Uh, that that depends on you. How you fly, the teams you fly with. Uh, yeah, basically. So all in all, is it the sh is the ship worth three K send? Yes, definitely for sure. Is it going to be the best science ship out there? No, not by a long shot. But it's not a bad ship. But it'll be a fun one. It'll, it'll definitely be a fun ship. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me for the past couple of hours while we did this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, but if you have, uh, then I would like to ask you guys hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I start streaming or upload any more videos to YouTube. And remember, I do have a Twitch channel as well. It's, the link for that should be down there here somewhere below where I'm talking. Some, it's, it's here somewhere. <laughs> have yourselves a good Saturday, guys. Enjoy your weekend. I will be back with you guys very soon. Have yourselves a good one. This is the Sarcasm Detector signing out.